Hello, my name is Catherine and I am from Acute Data Systems. In this tutorial, I am going to teach you how to reverse a wire transfer in accounts payable for Sage 100, formerly known as MAS90 and MAS200. Today, we'll be covering these topics. How to reverse a wire transfer in manual check and payment entry, updating the manual check and payment register, and last, we'll be reviewing the reversal in payment history inquiry. Before we get started, Let's take a look at the invoice we will be reversing in Accounts Payable. Go to the Tasks pane and expand the Modules tab. Click on Accounts Payable, open the main folder, and select Payment History Inquiry. For the check number, click the lookup button to open the checklist. Sort the type by descending order, choose the check number to be reversed, our check number is W00005, click select. Now we can see the check number, the vendor number, the invoice number, the payment amount, and the check type, which is a wire transfer. Let's get started on the reversal. In the main folder, select manual check and payment entry. For the bank code, Enter the bank code used for posting the original wire transfer. Next to the payment type is a drop-down menu. Click on the menu and select Wire Transfer Reversal. Then, enter the same check number as the original wire transfer. Press Enter. A window will pop up asking, Do you want to recall invoices paid by this wire transfer? Click Yes. Click Yes to recall the original invoices that were paid. Now we see that the header tab has been automatically filled in with the vendor number and check amount information associated with the check number. Click the Lines tab. Our Lines tab has been automatically generated from our check number and has pulled our original invoice. For the invoice number, you may manually enter or look up the invoice by clicking the lookup button. Select the same invoice used in the original wire transfer. Our original invoice was 235230. For the invoice amount, the amount entered should be a negative amount to properly reverse the wire transfer. We have a negative $500 in our invoice amount. Verify that the information is correct and then click Accept. In the same window, select the printer icon on the bottom right hand corner. The manual check and payment register window pops up. You may click printer preview. Let's preview this reversal. The manual check and payment register report pops up and here we can see the total amount that was reversed for the check number that we selected. We also see the recap by division report and we can see our debits and credits. Do you want to update the manual check and payment register? Click yes. Check your work by clicking the Vendor Inquiry task in the main folder. Enter the vendor number used in the original reversal. Our vendor number was 02MCS for MCS long lines. Click Select. Now click the Invoices tab. Our invoice was 235230, and we can see that our payment amount was for negative $500 and we reverse that amount with the same check number. So now it's at a positive $500. If you have any questions or suggestions, then leave us a comment below or contact us for more information. Thank you for watching.